This video will explain why there are no flights between East Asia and South America. A strange vacuum in the globe's aviation network raises questions in a linked world where commercial air travel seems to seamlessly span great distances. The absence of direct flights between East Asia and South America stands out among aviation routes. The skies connecting these two dynamic regions remain glaringly unconnected despite the rising need for global travel. This video will explore the intricate topographical, economic, and logistical factors that contribute to the lack of flights between East Asia and South America, delving into the many facets of this puzzling occurrence. The Geographical Challenge Although the size of the Earth initially appears to be insurmountable, the topographical difficulty of flying between East Asia and South America remains significant. The sheer distance and lack of convenient stopover spots are the main reasons why there are no direct routes between these regions. The Pacific Ocean, the largest and deepest ocean in the world, is frequently traversed by the most efficient aviation routes. In order to complete this difficult journey, planes must have long ranges, cutting-edge fuel efficiency, and the capacity to fly enormous distances without refueling. Typical airline routes between East Asia and South America include stops in cities in North America or Europe. This convoluted route not only prolongs travel times, but also raises ticket prices, deterring many potential passengers. The viability of direct flights is further complicated by the absence of adequate midway stops for refueling or crew changes in the wide oceanic sections. Economic Considerations Long-haul flights are now feasible thanks to technical developments, but economic factors are crucial when choosing flight paths. The likelihood of a new route becoming profitable has a big impact on whether or not airlines decide to start operating on it. Passenger demand, cargo transportation opportunities, operating expenses, and regulatory frameworks are some of the variables that affect economic feasibility. Due to the unpredictable nature of demand, direct flights between East Asia and South America have historically been met with skepticism. The assumption that such routes might not draw a steady passenger base has been influenced by the absence of established economic relationships and cultural connections across the regions. Airlines are wary of operating idle aircraft, since doing so could result in losses. Additionally, flying over isolated and poorly populated areas, like the Pacific Ocean, might have a significant operational expense. This covers not just fuel expenses, but also infrastructure upkeep and support in case of emergencies or unplanned stops. The development of direct flights has so far been constrained by the aviation industry's cautious attitude towards exploring unexplored territory. Logistical complexities. In the aviation sector, logistics are vital since they have an impact on route planning, ground operations, and passenger experience. The logistical challenges of developing new routes across time zones, global rules, and airport capacity all contribute to the lack of direct flights between East Asia and South America. The effectiveness of international air travel can be considerably impacted by customs and immigration processes. Governments, aviation authorities, and airports must coordinate in order to establish direct flights between two locations. Different rules and security procedures in East Asia and South America can cause delays and logistical difficulties. Infrastructure at airports is another difficulty. Long-haul international flights require airports at both ends of the route to be set up to handle them, including services for maintenance, refueling, and passenger transit. Airlines are frequently discouraged from opening up new routes by the high costs and meticulous planning required for facility upgrades or construction. Environmental considerations. The carbon impact of long-haul flights cannot be disregarded in a time when environmental issues are at the forefront of international discourse. There is little doubt that direct flights between East Asia and South America would be lengthy, require a lot of fuel, and produce a lot of greenhouse gases. There is growing pressure on regulators and airlines to reduce emissions and encourage green aviation practices. In this instance, the lack of direct flights could be considered as a gesture in the direction of responsible flying a choice to steer clear of long-haul routes that considerably increase emissions may be in keeping with more general sustainability objectives as airlines work to implement more environmentally friendly procedures and cleaner technologies. Examining a confluence of elements, from logistical difficulties and environmental concerns to geographical difficulties and economic reasons, 
can help solve the mystery of missing flights between East Asia and South America. While the sky connecting these areas remain unconquered, things could change as aircraft technology advances, economies change, and customer preferences vary. The day when travelers can take a direct flight between East Asia and South America may be closer than we realize as the globe continues to become more globalized and connection becomes more and more important. Until then, the lack of such trips serves as a stark reminder of the complex web of forces that molds the paths we choose and the skies we strive to conquer. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, you should subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future ones.